Hello guys, this is Oxman gonna bring you some Iron Front Liberation 1944. And uh, this is the Panzerfaust 30 and um I'm gonna show you how it works. So basically we're 30 meters from a target, we aim above the turret and boom. And miss it. Of course, um it's not a very accurate weapon honestly it, it's mainly close range and you know it just uh, does damage it's a shape charge but it's supposed to be hitting you know the actual target which it did there it's a good effect on target so let's try that again with one more round and um, let's see we are 26 meters okay let's aim above the turret with the iron sights Bam miss so obviously I've not practiced that much but it's just such a worthless iron sight and it's still a work in progress so I mean if this comes out it will probably be a better better way better <laughs> iron sight or uh, something I mean what it's supposed to do and all but there we go I hit at least so we have a Panzer Shrek and we're gonna try and see if there's any difference if I hit that on the turret, okay, we got that one. So let's aim above the turret there and hit it. And you can see that you can damage yourself with the Panzer Faust or the Panzer Shrek. And um, there you go, one hit, one kill. So the Panzer Shrek has been fixed. Before it wasn't. The Panzer Faust is good, but it's you have to be close and I wouldn't recommend using the Panzer Shrek in close range because you'll kill yourself that's why the Panzer Faust is a close range weapon it cannot be fired more than 40 meters in this game uh, I tried it and uh, I've not succeeded with that but still um, yeah I mean let's hit that thing again and it didn't explode I'm waiting. <laughs> this is very fun. That thing didn't want to explode. That thing might want to. And you can see. If you're too close and you explode a tank, you die. So the goal in the new game, in Armour 2, you had the range you could explode a tank or destroy a tank far, far away. Now, when you close, you only want to kill the crew or damage the actual turret or, you know, make it burn. Um, otherwise, if it explodes, it is more danger to you than the enemy. The enemy, of course, vaporizes, but you might die in the... at the same time. So, that is the class name. I'll write this down in the description. And that is the one round of Panzerfaust. I wouldn't use it uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say about the weapon itself. Um, it's just um, I don't know. It's I don't know what to call it. I mean, it's a very inaccurate weapon. No sound. You know, the worst iron sights I've ever seen. Um, I do love the Panzerfaust. I think it's the most awesome AT weapon in World War Two. I didn't like the bazooka. I didn't like the Shrek. But this thing is so funny. Because it's like a cube. <laughs> and it reminds me of the awesome weapon created by the Swedes. Which is this AT4. The M136. But anyway. Just um, a heads up. You can still use this thing in the game. And to a... Well, <laughs> part success. You can't, you can't really blow up IS-2s. You know, Joseph Stalin tanks. But you can perhaps take out the 34 76s so you know just a um, nice little preview of the Panzerfaust der Reitzig and um, well I don't know what else to say about it it's a hundred meter millimeter shaped charge it's the uh, it's awesome <laughs> there's no sound yet but you know in a few months you know Iron Front will probably release more patches fix stuff you know, that's gonna be very nice to see, and um, I hope uh, it does happen very soon because uh, I'm getting very tired of not being able to fly the Panzerfaust or flying fly paratroopers or say use the Tiger One. <laughs>
that's probably the only thing I'm actually really really want is the tiger one um I don't like the Koenig's deer um it's just I don't know it's not it's not nice <laughs> it's too big um that's all for this video hope you enjoyed it hope you now at least know the Panzerfaust exists and it will be in the game please like and subscribe and that's all for this video Boxman out